Hi, this is Aisha M. Coupons, and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use a rain check and roll my ECBs from a previous week. I thought you might like to see a scenario that I came up with using the um, coupons that I have. I went to CVS today and they were wiped out of Tide. They didn't have the 16 count pods, they didn't have the regular Tide um, liquid that I wanted, so I got rain checks for that. So I'm going to use a rain check next week. I am starting with $10 ECB from a previous week and a $10 ECB from signing up with CarePass. Now CarePass is a program that you pay $5 a month and you get $10 ECB every month. Month, I will do another small video on CarePass. So far it's pretty cool so I like it. Okay so I got a rain check for the week of 630 for the spend 20 and get $5 um, extra care buck sale. So for day one um, of next week, the week of 7 7, I'm going to get two Tide Pods for $4.94, two Tide Liquids for $5.94, and one Dawn dishwashing liquid for 99 cents. My subtotal will be $22.75. I'm going to hand over my rain check then, let them know that I want the $5 ECB for spending $20. I will then hand over my coupons, a $3 internet printable for the Tide from the PG website, um, another $3 internet printable from the PG website, and two July um, PNG $3 Tide coupons. Now the reason you can use multiple coupons like that is because one of the internet printables is for pods, one of the internet printables is for liquids, so that's two different coupons. One of the um, insert coupons from the PNG is for pods and one of them will be for the liquid. So those are also two different coupons. And both sets of coupons are completely different types. The first type are internet printables and the second are from inserts. So that's how you can use four of those. So my new subtotal will be $10.75. I'm going to use the $10 ECB from CarePass that's automatically sent to my card and I will end up paying 75 cents and get back a $5 ECB. So that's it for day one. Day two, um, down the line or the following day, I will come back and I will get one Tide Pod for $4.94 and a Tide Liquid for $5.94. My subtotal will be $10.88. Now because the sale for the week of 7-7 is spend 30 get a $10 ECB, my previous day, the first day, total will count towards the $30 threshold. So it's going to be tracking. So I've already spent $22.75. So I take that $22.75 and then add it to day two's total, which is $10.88. And that gets me to $33.63. So I've met the threshold. I will meet the threshold. But on top of the Tide Pods and liquid, I'm also going to get the Physician's Formula. I'm going to get two of the makeup removers for $7.49. I know there's a, a cheaper product, but my store doesn't carry it, so I'm going to get the makeup removers. So I'm going to get two of those. That'll total me $14.98. And the sale on Physician's Formula is spend $14, get $10 ECB. So my new subtotal with the Tide and the Physician's Formula is now $25.86. So that's them combined. So I'm going to use another $3 Tide coupon from the July PNG and another $3 Pods coupon from the July PNG. The reason I did, I'm going to do this on a separate day is because you can only use one like coupon per day with the Tide liquid and the Tide Pods. So I have to separate my, my transactions by day. Okay, so we're, we have two of the $3 um, Tide coupons and then a $4 Physician's Formula Digital which didn't come off the week of 6.30. I'm hoping it comes off 7.7. We'll see. And a $4 Physician's Formula Internet Printable from Coupons.com. You can also go to Kellogg'sFamilyRewards.com, sign up and print it from there. It's still available. So if my digital doesn't come off, I do have two more Physician's Formula coupons. 
my new subtotal will then be $11.86. I will use that second $10 ECB that I got from a previous week. I will pay $1.86 and I will get back a $10 ECB from the Tide for spending $30 and a $10 ECB from Physician's Formula for spending the 14. So, with the two days, my out-of-pocket before taxes comes to $2.61. Now, my total out-of-pocket, including the $5 sign-up that I had to pay for Care Pass, is $7.61. And that's what I'm going with, the $7.61, because I did pay for the $5 Care Pass. And I'm going to end up with $5 from day one, $5 ECB from day one from the rain check sale, a $10 ECB from day two for the tide sale, uh, spend 30 get 10, and a $10 ECB from day two for the physician's formula sale. I will have bought nine items, but I will only consider six items, six tides to be the items that I actually buy, like count, because the physician's formula I'm not going to use, I don't wear makeup, I am not going to be able to sell them, they go on Amazon for like three dollars and cha something, chain small, they go on Amazon for a very small amount, so I'm not going to be able to resell them, so that's a wash, and the Dawn hand soap should be free anyway, so I'm not counting that, so I'm just counting the six tides. So basically, I'm spending $2.61 before tax for six tithes, or $0.44 cents per item. But again, I'm counting the $5 that I paid for Care Pass, so I am ultimately spending $7.61 for six tithes, or $1.27 per item. $1.27 per tide, pretty good. Uh, I'll take that. So quick recap. I will begin with $20 in extra care bucks. My out of pocket will be $7.61 and I will end with $25 in extra care bucks. I hope this was helpful. Happy couponing!